Pop quiz, what's older than T-Rex and still swims in Minnesota's rivers today? It's the garfish. Gars in Minnesota can grow up to four feet long and still look about the same as they did 150 million years ago. With their long rows of sharp teeth, armored scales, and dark shaped bodies, they're top predators. I'm Dr. Solomon David and I study freshwater fish, including gars, at the University of Minnesota. My students and I are learning new things about them every day. Jonathan here is measuring a long-nosed gar and Aaron's checking out a short-nosed gar, both native species to Minnesota. We're here on Madison Lake in southern Minnesota and we're excited because we just caught our first gar of the day. We catch lots of different types of fish and measure them before putting them back. Fish do best in healthy waters, and the way they grow, reproduce, and move from one place to the next can tell us a lot about our lakes and rivers. Now we're at the U of M's Bell Museum Fish Collection. We have thousands of specimens that come from Minnesota, including gars. We study their bodies, teeth, and bones, and even their DNA, which is a special code that makes every living thing unique, like its shape, size, and color. This helps us understand how fish evolved or changed over a really long time. Gars are ancient survivors, and we want to make sure they don't become extinct. By taking good care of our state's lakes and rivers, we're creating healthy homes for gars. And by studying these dinosaur fish, we can make our waters better for years to come. <laughs>